Okay, now that you got the cylinder head on, before we go up to this side, we got everything done over here. Got this locked in, the exhaust, the uh, exhaust manifold, intake manifold, every little, all the little connectors, sensors, whatever. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to adjust the valves while it's cold. It's getting cold out here, so this is perfect timing for this. See? starting to get dark tonight right now so I'm doing it that night I was gonna do it early in the morning but uh I'll just do it right now so I can get it over with first of all you want to check your valve lash that's what it's called when you're adjusting valves right here where it says uh valve lash IN is intake valve EX is exhaust valves and we're looking for the intake no we're gonna do the exhaust first okay which is 0 0.25 plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters, okay? So, 0 0.25. But what you do, you go down like this. Okay, you get your filler gauges, fill a gauge, and this is the exhaust side, remember that. 0 0.25 is what we're looking for. So, now, what you do is you get your 10 millimeter wrench, loosen that up like that, okay? Stick the, uh, the dilly in like that, stick the wrench inside the, uh, I mean, stick the uh, screwdriver inside the wrench, close it, okay? Now, what you're doing, you're feeling for tightness. Well, not tightness. You want it to be snug. You want it to be like this. Put some oil on your fingers, like this, and you want it to be like that. Squeeze it, and you want it to be like that, okay? So, get that inside there in the gap. Is this bad boy locked? Locked in like that. Well, not locked in, but just gonna get it in like that. And you're gonna slowly back off so we can move it, okay? Now slowly, see, see as I turn the screwdriver? Do it again, back off. And slowly keep moving it as you're tightening the uh, tap it at the end of the rock arm, okay? And I can feel it starting to get snug, okay? It's starting to tighten up. Now right as it gets right about, that's about smooth. Right there, that's good right there, okay? Now I'm gonna lock it in place, okay? Hold it tight, keep this still steady, keep it still, okay? Don't move that, all right? So you tighten that up. Keep the uh, screwdriver still, okay? Don't move it. As you go this way with the wrench, going that way with the wrench, and you're fighting it that way with the uh, flathead, okay? That's pretty tight right there. So now take it off and recheck it. Make sure you check it. And that's perfect right there. So that's what you want. You want it to be a little bit tight like this. Not too tight though. Put oil on the tip of your fingers and then smash, smash on it like that. That's how you want it, okay? Okay, and that's how you do your uh, adjust your valve with the valve lash, okay? Let me tell you something else. But in order to do that, you have to have these rocker arms have to be off of these uh, valves, okay? So you want these valves to be movable. You want, you want to be able to move them like that. See how you can move them? See, on these ones that are tight, you can't move them at all. But on these, you can move them because the lobe of the camshaft isn't pushing this rocker arm down, forcing that down. It's actually off, and that's where you're getting the valve lash, which is the gap in between there. So make sure when you do each each cylinder that these rocker arms aren't putting pressure on the uh, tip of the valve, okay? So each, when I'm done with this one, then I rotate the engine or the camshaft and do the next one, okay? And as long as these are off, the, uh, as long as these valve lobes are not pushing up on the rocker arms, you're good to go. As long as these can move, then you're all right to uh, do your valve lash, okay? Just like that, okay? Don't forget about that. 